What is up, you lovely, beautiful people? Welcome to Bangkok Airport. Looking for my bags. Good 10 hour flight. Um, I've got my first bag. Now I'm looking for the bike box. This is what we're interested in. And I can see it. The Bronson's made it uh, using the B and W hard case. Let's have a look how it's there. Uh, looks all right, you know. Looks all right. Looks all right. Right, let's get get it off, shall we? Whoop. Tell you what, first inspections. Fragile sticker. It's looking pretty damn good. Okay, so now it's time to go get me a cab to the hotel and um, take the Brompton for a ride later on today. Look at this bag. Just had to stop off to get some uh, get some money for this guy. He's my taxi driver. We're pretty close to the hotel now. I tried to use a uh, ride sharing ride app, but he just didn't turn up. I think I lost uh, Wi-Fi. I lost Wi-Fi, um, and this guy turned up and he offered me actually a cheaper price. It's 12 pounds for a 40 minute drive from the airport to the center of Bangkok, which is where I'm staying. So. Mm. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Thailand. Take care. <laughs> We're in the lift. We have made it to the hotel. The hotel solo. Apparently there's a pool on the roof. It'd be nice for later on to cool off because it is cooking. Cooking, it is hot. All right, me a bike box. It's a beauty. Let's check in. Woohoo! Very nice, very nice. Loads of room. Oh, flip it, mate. All right, let's get this, uh, get this unboxed, shall we? See how the bike's doing. Alrighty, let's get this bag open, shall we? So this flight that I've just taken, let's move some things out of the way, uh, was from Manchester to Helsinki, and then Helsinki to, oh no, I'm gonna need, oh, two seconds, I'm gonna need, the, I've got the keys for the TSA locks. Okay, we're back, got the keys. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, so this has traveled two flights with a changeover. So the bag would have been loaded on, loaded off, transported in the airport in Helsinki, and then reloaded onto the flight and loaded off in Bangkok. I will say these uh, the TSA locks are good quality. You know, they're not, they're good quality. You, they just feel quality. Um, I won't pop it open just yet. I'm just inspecting the bag. Um, it looks good. Now you can see that it's been chucked around a little bit. You can tell it's not new anymore. It's definitely got a few little scuffs here and there. There's a good one on this corner here. That might have landed on the corner there. So, But it hasn't damaged the integrity of the box itself. Um, I was worried about the trolley handle, but... You know, you get some, that's the only thing because it's exposed. If something was to hit that, um, that'd be a bit rubbish, it might break, but you know, it is encased within the shell. So anyway, other than that, it looks pretty damn good. Uh, the fragile sticker here, you know, got a little scuff on it, but that's all right. All right, so let's open up, let's get the bike out. <laughs> da, 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 da. And it is how I left it. So I actually uh, ended up from, so from the last video, I didn't have all these other things. So I had a couple of straps, which I also traveled. This is a, like a laundry bag, one of those big laundry bags. 
which I've got just as a temporary or a bag that I carry with me so when I, I'm around Bangkok or anywhere else, um, if I go into the trains, I can just pop it in the, in the bag there. And this is only six pounds. And you can probably get them cheaper on eBay. You know those clear ones, those dump, dumple bag, duffel? I can't remember what they're called. They're like Ikea bags. I think they're about a fiver anyway. So got one of them, which I'll be taking with me. Uh, and also I bought a padlock for it. Now I know you can obviously fold it up and then pop into a shop and bring it with you. But just for more convenience, I thought I'd buy a good, good lock. I just went for the scissors abacus ultra mini 410 plus the loop cable so you can fold the back up lock it up big and get the loop cable around everything else so i think that would be uh, adequate enough and that was like 40 40 pounds um, but i don't plan on locking up too much too often just a few ask some electric unicycle pedals matt if you're watching he he hooked me up with the uh, pedal grip stuff for electric unicycle stuff which so the things on the channel and then yes yeah, so a bunch of stickers only wanted a couple but on ebay they just give me a load of them anyway and uh in this bag we just have a few little things like a bike pump i've actually got my brompton bike manual what else have we got a little tool kit it's a little bike a little tool kit for the bike itself uh, i was going to get the brompton one but for 55 pounds for the sake of it sitting in the thing you know this was 12 pounds it does everything that the Brompton one does I assume it's a bell same brand as my helmet I just found it at Asda in, uh, in England so anyway let's quickly um, get it out of the box and put it together oh this is so cool how cool this is so cool travel I've never traveled with a bike before um, I've never done it because because of the sheer size so I reckon what the plan is in the future is to travel with that because there's plenty of space inside there. Can you see that? It's like really far away. Plenty of size in there. And then I have uh, my big backpack here, which is like my travel on 40 litre. That is more than enough for all my clothes and everything. I just have my other bag because I've just come off the Walker with Dinosaurs tour touring for a year. So i um, get the bike out. Uh, and the case, I mean, here we go. Look, here's something already. The foam, I was worried about this. The foam has already got a hole in it. Um, that's just from the pedal. I've got the Brompton pedals. Uh, so maybe for longer travel days, you could take the pedals off to stop them from, um, some from rubbing so much. But um, I can fix that with a bit of gaffer tape on the back. Uh, I sort of, when I had it in the case, I did see that. Um, and I was kind of worried about that a little bit, but you know, live and learn. Shut the case. Cool. Yeah, because the the Brompton pedals, the alley, they're pretty harsh, aren't they? I thought it was going to fit under there then. Put it to one side. All right. Well, may as well put the put the seat on. So if you're not sure if you watched the last one, but. With the Brompton B75, the pole's quite large. Um, I think you can get a smaller one, which will then allow me to just keep the keep the pole in while I was traveling. But you know what, honestly, it's not that much of an inconvenience as you'll see here. It's pretty easy to pop back on. I've done this a few times now. I just have to travel with a little, little multi-tool thing. Didn't take that long to put it back on as demonstrated there. So let's unpack. I think this seat height is right for me anyway, because it's, it's probably maybe five mil below. Oh yeah, flipping. I forgot about them. <laughs> so yeah, I took, took the clamps off for travel, which is recommended because you don't want to turn up and have these smashed because you'll be able to fold your bike and I'm sure gaffer tape won't do a good job. <laughs> so anyway, we've got those, let's put those back on. So this is the first time for me, first time ever traveling with this bike and uh, at the airport, because I had the fragile stickers on it, 
they uh, they made me go and drop it off at the front. They didn't even ask if it was a bike or anything. They just asked if I would like to drop it off with the fragile items. Uh, they did do a screening, but the guy was totally cool with it. There's a guy in front of me with a, a big plastic bike box. Um, yes. There you have it. Got my Brompton. Like it looks fine. It looks as good as new. Got the Brompton in Bangkok. Flipping awesome. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. I'm going to take it for a spin later on tonight. I might take it around Lum Lumpanini, Lumpani, Lumpini, Lumpini Park. I keep saying Lumpanini, Lumpinini Park. Might have said that wrong again. Uh, later on tonight, I've got to go shower and do some other stuff, errands. Um, and it'd be a lot nicer at night, so I'm a bit cooler as well because it's cooking out there. Um, so yeah, the the total weight with all that, the the box, the box and the bike. Hello. The box, the box and the bike. All these are the little accessories. Hopefully you can see them there. Came in at twenty one point five kilos, um, and it was still enough space that so you could easily get a few. Um, what are these called? The clothes. No, these little baggies. Packing bags for all your clothes and stuff them in there. You probably just travel with that and a really small carry-on bag. Uh, it doesn't take up much weight at all. And the, ba the bag, the bike, has both mudguards and the rear rack as well. There's not much more you can add to it to add weight. And it's all, you know, it's not a, a, there's no titanium on it or anything. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That is the end of this little video segment of the Brompton stuff. If you're into EUCs, stay tuned. I'll be picking up the InMotion V10F maybe tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Sooner the better. Um, but I should have put the Moscow video out by now anyway. So go check it out. EUCs, Bromptons. We're wheeling around the world. Take it easy. Live, laugh and love. I'll see you in the next one. Oh.